There are lots of things you can use to add framework to a garden. Pathways, decks, fountains, retaining walls. But now I want to branch out a bit and allow the landscape structure to take root. One of the most important things about pulling a landscape together is to give it some structure. Plant materials are perfect for that. And the reason for that is they soften a landscape. They also create a focal point. They create a theme in the garden and they evoke an emotional response. They are the backbone in a garden. When we talk about structure, it's how the plant has grown and how it's been pruned. Now this is an Alberta spruce, and the way it's been pruned, it's to create this nice formal spiral effect. What's so wonderful about this is, this would be great in an Italian garden where you need some formality, or a French-inspired garden where you really need some structure. Topiaries can either be formal or informal, depending on how they're used. And many plants can be pruned to create the structure that fits your garden. Now here, rosemary makes a beautiful pyramid, but so does this Buxa sempervirens, or boxwood. And never underestimate the versatility of junipers, which in my opinion are structural stalwarts. These are junipers. They've been pruned to look like teardrops. I call them egg and darts. What I love about them is they add whimsy and structure in the garden. And hey, they're junipers. You can't get any more low maintenance than a juniper. They're drought tolerant, they take full sun. All you have to do is prune them. A twice yearly pruning schedule will keep most topiaries nicely manicured. Hey, check out this juniper. It's a shrub that's used as a ground cover. Here, we've actually grafted it to a different rootstock to make a stunning focal point or a patio tree. Or you could leave the trunk unpruned to create a whole new look and a frame in the landscape. Structurally, the sky's the limit. In your plant choices, of course. A traditional black pine can grow up to 50 to 60 feet tall, and it makes for a big pine tree. But these have been pruned over the years to look like a bonsai. What's so wonderful about these black pines, Pinus thunbergiana is, that they can be used in an Asian-inspired garden. What a great place to put over a water feature or to accent with a grouping of rocks. And again, you can see the structure makes the garden. And if you prefer form with flowers, well, azaleas in full bloom are hard to beat. This is a traditional azalea. It's in the rhododendron family. It's acid loving and it has a beautiful, beautiful flower. Well, this is what you think of for an azalea, but how about an atopiary azalea? This is a three-tiered azalea, been pruned to have growth on the top, in the center, and at the bottom. Wonderful addition of structure in a shaded garden. And again, you have the spring blooms to enhance it. There is a simple way to remember garden structure. Frame the space and you'll give it grace. Now there's a structurally sound concept. Mm -hmm.